tonight on News 3 New Mexico, buying local produce has benefits. And what does the weather look like for the rest of the week? Find out my full weather forecast. Mrs. K says causes the U.S. to halt flights for Afghan refugees. News 3 New Mexico starts right now. Is News 3 New Mexico your local source for news, sports, and first weather? Good evening and welcome to News 3 New Mexico. I'm Scott Haas. I am Olayin Kashudunke. Now starting our coverage, the Clovis Police Department is warning local businesses of a new scam with four businesses reporting some level of attempt. According to a CPD release, scammers convince a business employee that they are from the corporate office or in one case, the fire marshal's office. The scammer then convinced employees to remove money from the cash register and send it in form of a money order or place the funding in a Bitcoin machine for electronic delivery. The department advises employees to contact their corporate office independently to verify such request and to contact a local or regional manager if somebody unknown is asking for money from the register. Still staying with crime story, the driver suspected in a Eaton run that claimed the life of a Clovis woman in August have still not been identified. Clovis police announced on August 31st that they had identified the vehicle and the driver in the Eaton run, but the police report on the incident has not been made public. Police said at the time of the accident, Castillo was hit by a pickup dark in color as she attempted to cross the street. She died at the scene. A family friend said that she was working from her house to see her grandson who lives nearby. Up to 380,000 homes in Texas have had their power restored after Hurricane Nicholas passed through the state's coast. Off of the central Gulf Coast. But back to you guys at the desk. Many thanks, Owen. Now, President Joe Biden has advocated for rolling out booster shots to every American who has completed a primary cost of COVID-19 vaccine beginning as soon as September the 20th. Medical experts are still debating the merit of boosting immunizations for the vaccinated versus focusing on delivering shots to the unvaccinated. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention currently recommends additional boosters of the Pfizer, BioNTech or Moderna vaccines only for those with compromised immune system. According to data, the three vaccines administered in the United States remain effective against severe diseases from variants of the coronavirus, including the highly contagious Delta variant that has driven spikes in infections this summer. Taking a look at New Mexico, state officials say New Mexico is extending its latest mandate for masking at indoor public settings for another month due to the current surge in COVID-19 cases. The spokesman for the governor, Michelle Luhim Grisham, said Tuesday that the mandate reimposed on August 20th as part of a public health order by acting state health secretary. It will be extended without significant changes. The vaccine mandate has been set to expire on Wednesday. New Mexico in May of 2020 was among the states who first required face covering be one in public settings. That order was lifted last May for fully vaccinated people. Election officials are providing ballot drop boxes across New Mexico for people who choose to now, to stay with politics, Santa Fe's mayor defended his handling of conflict over historical monument and of a COVID-affected economy at a candidate forum on Monday after facing criticism from two Latina challengers. Mayor Helen Weber was vying against Democratic city councillor Virgil Copper and Republican Alexis Johnson. Weber is seeking a second term after leading New Mexico's fastest growing major city through the pandemic and state emergency health order. Virgil Clapper says the mayor has neglected city finances and bedrock parks and recreation areas. Weber has embraced, uh, has embraced rather vanguard progressive initiatives such as universal basic income. And that is all the news we have for you right now, but stay tuned. We will be back with Owen and a first weather report after the break. But first, a look at the financial market.
Welcome back. And back to our earlier story. Buying locally is important to many in the community. News 3 New Mexico, Maryland Hop Church caught up with local farmers at the farmer's market who says buying local is the best thing to do. I will, I will say this, chili's a, a difficult crop to grow, but a very interesting crop to grow. Um, it, it's hard to get to going, but once you get it to going, it is, I've never seen anything make like chili does. It's pretty fun. If you haven't bought your green chili for the season, the port- Staying with New Mexico, the New Mexico Environment Department is less than a week away from presenting its new regulations intended to curb ozone pollution from oil and gas for a vote and potential enactment. The Environmental Improvement Board plans to begin its virtual public hearing on September the 20th, where proposed regulations could see a vote to approve or disapprove the rules. NMED began the rulemaking process after the governor called on state agencies to reduce pollution and greenhouse gas emissions as a means for the state to reduce its impact on climate change. We will be right back with sport anchor Kiki after the break. Obviously, there are big stories, you know, coming in and out, you know, around the world. And I'll, I'll most likely be following stories and, you know, be checking some series too. But yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's really good to hear. You know, my weekend plans will be including tailgating at the football game on Saturday Ooh. at 12 o'clock. So make sure to be there. But that is all the news that we have for you tonight. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll see you next Wednesday. Be sure to tune in on Friday on News 3 New Mexico live at 5 p.m. Have a good night.